Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Breaking news out of Westbrook. Good evening. I'm Greg Lagerquist. And I'm Marissa Bodner. Westbrook and state police are on the scene of a shooting on East Bridge Street. So we find Fox 23's Anna Kuhn. And Anna, what are you seeing? What can you tell us? Multiple witnesses say they saw a man's body lying on the ground next to a car with shattered glass windows. Other witnesses have video of what they think is a woman's body lying on the ground. Some saying they saw a female right away in an ambulance. Neighbors say they heard multiple loud bangs that they think were gunshots. One witness telling us he heard 10 to 15 shots around 8.30 p.m. I thought I heard firecrackers, but then I heard it multiple times. So then I was like, no, this has to be something else. So I ran down here from the park because I was working on a car. And then turns out this happened as well because I got um, a video of what was happening. And then turns out it was this. Right now, two blocks of Main Street are shut down, and state police, Westbrook Police, and Cumberland County Police have been on the scene, but so far we have no comment from any officials. Live in Westbrook, Anna Kuhn, Fox 23 News at 10. All right, Anna, we'll keep monitoring that. Thanks for the live update. I'm Samantha York and for Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yukono. State police tell us late this afternoon those two people were parents and they were shot and killed right in front of their two young children. And while the suspect is under arrest right now, people in Westbrook are in shock today. New Center Maine's Jack Moman was back on the scene today, joins us with the latest in the studio. Hi, Jack. Well, Samantha and Brian, police actually first responded to the scene last night after hearing complaints about gunfire. And when they arrived, they saw 24 year old Marcel Lagrange Jr. shoot and kill the mother. The father was already dead in the car. But thanks to bystanders, Larange was tackled and then arrested. Today in Westbrook, things were quieter, but everybody I spoke with expressed a deep sense of shock and horror. Monday night in Westbrook, as witnesses describe hearing up to 10 shots ring through the air. I had no idea what was going on. Whit Johns lives next door to the parking lot and says nothing has ever come close to what he saw. It's kind of shocking, honestly. Uh, I, I, I feel bad. But we know now that police spotted 24-year-old Marcel Lagrange Jr. shooting and killing 37-year-old Brittany Cockrell of Westbrook. Lagrange then took off on foot, and it was bystanders, state police say, who tackled Lagrange and ripped his weapon away from him. When police came back to the scene, though, they saw 41-year-old Michael Hader also shot and killed, and in the back seat of the car was their two young children who had to watch their parents die. He just heard sc the screaming from when the woman got shot. At their market, just feet from the shooting, Assad Kalan and his family recorded this video. And then... So you asked your uncle, he's the one and that pulled them out of the kids out of the car? <laughs> Him and another man. Okay. Just say brought them out of the car so they don't have to see them. Okay. Assad is speaking to us through his nephew Omar, as he only speaks Arabic. He and a bystander protected the kids until police could recover them. A big problem 
is the, the mom and the dad being killed in the shooting. Shock through a community. And as it begins to look like a normal Wednesday afternoon. And the biggest problem is that the two kids had to witness this. For many here, life is anything but. I don't think I've ever seen something in, in Maine or like in America. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. Now, LaGrange Jr. faces two counts of murder for the shooting death of these two parents. And the kids, by the way, are physically unharmed. LaGrange is being held at Cumberland County Jail without bail. And a quick look into his history, and we see he's been in, out, in and out of jail since he was a youth, having multiple run-ins at Long Creek and booked multiple times on charges, including assaulting an officer and domestic assault. Maine State Police also say LaGrange and his family have no known relation. Thanks, Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.